Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jordan Crook with TechCrunch, and we're here with the founders of Sphero. So we have Adam Wilson, Adam Wilson, and Ian Bernstein. How are you guys doing? Excellent. How are Excellent. you doing? I'm really good. Um, so do you guys have like some? Well, first of all. What is Sphero? Because there's probably a few people that aren't quite familiar yet. So this is Sphero. Sphero is the robotic ball that you can control from your iPhone or tablet um, or Android phone. And basically, you can control the color of it. You can't see it that really well because we're out in the sun here. But right. you can control the color of it. And you can also drive it around, um, stream all sorts of sensor data off of it. And it has an SDK, so you can play all sorts of games for it. Really? OK. So like, my main question is, like, why? Like, where did this idea come from? Why this? Like, I know you guys have, like, an, an army of fans, essentially, that love this thing. But, but why did you build this? Uh, it's, it's actually kind of simple. When we first started, we were like, what could we make? We could make a car that you control with your iPhone. And so we made one in a night. And we're like, well, that's going to be super easy. <laughs> and then we tried to come up with all the games that we were going to create for this car. And we're like, a race game. And we kind of ran into a wall where we're like, that's not very fun. And so we kind of ideated through a bunch of different objects, cars and tanks and other things. And we're like, man, if we could make a ball, if it were possible, <laughs> the games are like totally unlimited, right? Like there's soccer and golf. Right. And, and we knew we could detect it through the camera. We knew, we knew we could do a lot of it cool stuff if it was a ball. So that's where it came from. Awesome. So you guys are actually one of our top videos on uh, CES like two years ago. Awesome. So you guys are like, you're actually like on the TechCrunch stats page, which yes. is pretty cool. Uh, c can you show us a little bit of something? Because I know you guys have a brand new, I'm sorry, my voice is gone, but you have a brand new like uh, AR type product, right? Yeah, so like I said, um, well, with Sphero, you can grab it in your hand and you can use it as a controller. So, you know, you can, this ball has a lot of sensors in it. It has a three axis accelerometer, three axis gyroscope. And what you can do is you can stream data over to your iPad here and play games where when you go up and down and left and right, you're using the ball as the controller. Okay. And actually, we've partnered up with uh, Neon Cat which is everybody's favorite, to make a game for that. Um, it's called Space Party. It's extremely fun. You use the cat <laughs> and you shoot bacon at people in space. So we've made that game where you use it as a controller. We've made some party games where you like the ball's on the table and we're at a party, and i got to try to grab it on the green color faster than anybody else. Um, oh. So games that kind of break into the board game space. And then this year at CS, we're demoing what we're extremely proud of, which is our augmented reality. So. We can, we can detect the Sphero through the camera, right? So we see the ball through the camera, and we just overlay 3D characters on it. We, you know, digital characters we put on top All of right, the ball. All right, let's see it. Let's do it. And, you know, yeah, talking about it is boring. Seeing it is the game. So let's just show. Oh, there we go. So if you can see here, what's going on is this is Sharky the Beaver. He is our little mascot. And the, right now there's a ball driving around on the floor that everybody else sees. But we get to be in our own little reality where we play with Sharky, and he well, he's like our little mascot right now. And so everybody sees him running around the floor. And uh, Ian ha is ha having to kind of keep him constrained there for the camera. But the idea here is that you would be running around your house following this character and picking up things off the ground, you know, fighting adventures throughout your house, throughout your world, chasing it around. So do you find that, like, uh, this is, like, a, a big hit with kids? Because, like, I, I know that I could have fun playing around with something like this, but do you find that a lot of kids are really yeah, interested well, in Yeah, the fun part about with kids is it's so magical. So normally for us, we're all kind of going through the loop of how this is working, right? Like, okay, it's a ball, there's Bluetooth, all this stuff. A kid just sees the character. They don't even see the rest of the world that's there. They see this character and all of the stuff there. And it's so magical that, you know, we, do, we have to take it away from them when we do our play test. We have to, like... We have to say, okay, enough, try to this next thing, right? So we're, we really think that we hit something special with children and with adults because you've never seen a fiducial that drives around like this. And right. it's, we didn't really plan on this being perfect like this, but when you look at any other object in the world with a camera, the hardest thing to detect is, well, the easiest thing to detect is a ball. Right. And a white ball is actually the super easiest thing to detect. So we got extremely lucky there to make our augmented reality as easy as possible, but it's still really challenging to be able to place game objects like 3D models and all these things while using the camera feed and not bogging down all the iPads. So did you say that there's extra characters too? You can yeah. switch your character? Yeah, so um, one thing that we're really, we're going to kind of do this year. So here, Deckrun is going to be the first one to really hear this. The future of what we're going to do is, you know, we have Sharky here and that's one character and that's our character that we like. But the first thing we usually hear is you could put a, you know, like a Lego guy or Batman or something like that right. inside of the on top of that instead. So what we want to do is, well, if, it, if I were to take, say, a video of my cat, right? I want to make a video of a dragon cat chasing my cat down my hallway. 
Like, I would take the video of my cat, and then I would go into some editing software and try to put a 3D model in there, and it would be so hard to do. Right. But with this, we'd just, like, put the dragon on and chase the cat and record the video. So Very cool. So you guys have an SDK out, right? Correct. And you, you, I mean, what is the coolest thing you've seen with like a, a I see him, uh, there's some pretty awesome stuff happening right there with <laughs> yeah. this demo. He's actually throwing cupcakes at Sharky in this demo right now. And what's really interesting, like the magic that you don't really see what's happening is we know where the ground is. So those cupcakes look like they're bouncing on the ground. And that's <laughs> like impossible. If you don't have a robot that really knows what's going on on the ground, you cannot do this. The fiducial based augmented reality looks like it bounces off of midair. It does not work like this. And Can so, you explain what the word fiducial means? Yeah, so uh, <laughs> fiducial is just like a really interesting object. Actually, the TechCrunch logo would be a fiducial. I could pick that up from any angle on the ground and say, okay, I know where I'm at because I know what this is supposed to look like. So it's like a very unique shape that I can identify through a camera. Awesome. Okay, so what, last question is, what is the coolest thing that you've seen people do with, with your SDK? So, um... I don't know. There's been so many. Like we, we were talking about earlier, we have this hackathon all year, and we've done at least 25 events where we go and let people hack on Spiro's SDK. And I mean, people have used it to control the AR drone. You know, people have made games where you're in a swimming pool and you have to throw it at each other and get it and swim and dive and get it because it's waterproof. Um, we've seen all sorts of games like tag, right? Like where multiple people run into each other and chase each other around. So. Well, I can't hack, but my plan is to buy like a thousand of them, and I'm just gonna create an army, and I'm you coming. Know, I'm coming after anyone who crosses me. We hear that a lot because there is autonomy to the app. Um, we built this thing called Or Basic, so like the pros can drive it around and make it autonomous, and they're like, "This is Skynet, you know." And we're like, <laughs> oh, "We know." All right, so we're gonna give a couple of these away if it's all right with Absolutely. you to our watchers right now. So um, if you're checking out the live stream right now, you can tweet to the hashtag CES Crunch saying, "I want a Sphero." We've got two of them, so uh, our community managers will be standing by to, f to pick the lucky winners of two brand new Spheros. Thank you guys so much for uh, hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, and stop by the booth. And in the meantime, we are going to go to a video right now of Anthony Ha, who uh, interviewed Oculus, which is a virtual reality goggle. It should be pretty cool, so stay tuned.